we will <clears throat> next take a look at the results from a calculation and we will do that using the CFT post post processor and this can be started by double clicking on the results um, icon so I'll double click on it and that starts the post processor which is called CFD post and I will click on the Z axis to look along Z um, since you know this is a, a two-dimensional axis symmetric problem and so we are looking in um, X which is actually the axial coordinate and Y which is actually the radial coordinate <coughs> And then if I look under the tree here, I can click on each of these surfaces and see what the corresponding surface is in the, um, in the graphics window. So for instance, inlet is um, that line as expected. Now there is this body called periodic one which turns out to be the interior of the flow and that's kind of a default name that CFD post gives it and so we will pick periodic one to get you know contours and velocity vectors within the domain okay so the first thing we will do is um, add velocity vectors so I'll click on the vector icon here and I will call it velocity vectors and under locations I will pick periodic one so periodic one which corresponds to the interior of the domain and when you know I hover around periodic one it shows me the domain and I will click apply and that shows me the velocity vectors except that I need to make the the vector symbol smaller so I'll go under symbol here and I will change this to 0.1 symbol size and click apply okay and then I will I can zoom out either by clicking on Z here or by just typing in Z and <clears throat> let me zoom in to the inlet area using the right mouse button so if I hold down the right, right mouse button and draw a rectangle I will zoom in to that area and so you know this is the axis this is the wall and I can see uniform flow coming in and I'll <coughs> select pan so that I can translate the model and I can see that the flow developing and then after a while it looks like the flows become developed fully developed and I'll click on Z I'll to zoom out again and then I'll zoom into the outlet area and I can see that the flow is looks like it's fully developed at the outlet.